This is the second video in a series on the Dart programming language. In this video, we'll cover functions. Before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification icon so you can stay updated whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. Just like in the previous video, we'll be using DartPad, the free sandbox utility created by the Dart team. You can find it at the URL below. Just like other programming languages, Dart allows you to create functions or useful bits of code that you can call in other parts of your program. Functions are defined by specifying a return type, the name of the function, and any arguments you might need. Arguments must also have a type. The contents of the function are enclosed in brackets. If a function is small enough, it can be defined on a single line using the arrow operator. Dart functions can have optional arguments. To do this, you must wrap the argument in brackets. You can also specify a default value for the optional argument, but it must be a constant. If no default is specified, the default value will be null. Dart functions can also have named arguments. Named arguments must be wrapped in curly braces. Named arguments can be passed in any order when calling the function. Any arguments left out will be set to null. Dart functions can also return other functions, which can be stored in variables and called later on. This particular function returns a function that decorates text you pass as an argument. And those are the basics of Dart functions. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.